The information in this podcast is for educational purposes only. You should consult your doctor, specialist, or physical trainer for advice on your physical wellness goals before you plan to follow any of the suggestions or recommendations in this podcast. Hello. Hola. Marhaba. Welcome to the Astro About, About Wellness, wellness podcast. podcast. Join me, Shazana Sunny. And the Astro Duo, Asfar Azman, and Azima Azman, your host from New, New York. York. Let's strive to educate, regenerate, and elevate family institutions through optimal productivity and wellness education, one, one episode, episode at, at a time. time. Are you ready? To listen to inspirational stories of trust, respect, acceptance, integrity, love, and social responsibility for multicultural families and special needs communities? Sit back and relax and be inspired by the awesome people that we highlight in the first segment of the podcast. Welcome back to the Ask Trio About Wellness podcast. This episode is co-sponsored by Hadi Kamsani and my dad, Azman Ripin. Thank you and may God bless you. Hello, may peace be upon you. You are listening to the 25th episode of the first season of the podcast with me, Shazana, and the Estuardo, Athwar, and Adima. In segment one this week, we'll talk about social responsibility and why it is so important, especially during the health pandemic triggered by the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. During the summer vacation with Mother Nature that we talked about in episode 24, what did we do to fulfill our social responsibility? Alima, tell us about it. We had done our part by not littering at the camping ground and at the beautiful Saratoga State Park. In fact, I personally paid extra attention to the cleanliness of the facilities there. For example, on the three-day, two-night camping trip at Adirondack Safari in July, I had informed the camp staff to clear the waste bin in the women's restroom because it was already full to the brim. Also, the shower area needed more cleaning. So I told the camp staff about it. I could have chosen to let it be and just ignore it. But because I wanted to do my part in being socially responsible, I informed the staff who were roving around to check on how things were going on. For the entire school year, Asper and I chose fully remote learning instead of in-person learning as a way for us to quickly help stop the spread of COVID-19 in New York. Yeah, it was a really, really tough decision. Our family felt it was the best way to show our support for New York State. We needed to cope with all the uncertainties and frequent changes relating to school closures and school reopenings, social distancing, and of course, mask-wearing measures. We prayed for everyone's safety and for Almighty God to help find a solution to this pandemic. So, when the vaccines were ready and rolled out to the public, we did not delay in getting ourselves vaccinated, right? Oh, yes. Yep. I remembered your dad was the first in the family to be fully vaccinated in May this year. As an engineer working in the semiconductor industry who is classified as an essential worker, of course, he want to do his part to fulfill his social responsibility. The sooner, the better. Then, Althor and I were the next in line to be fully vaccinated. And finally, you, Adima, the baby in the family. If you're still not vaccinated, we hope that you'll be open to getting yourself and your family vaccinated. As soon as you qualify, that depends on your age and health condition. We hope and pray 
that New York State, as well as all other states in America and other countries, will achieve its desired goal of getting more than 80% of its total population being vaccinated. I mean... That's it for segment one this week. So, stay tuned to the next episode. And listen to stories of trust, respect, acceptance, integrity, love, and social responsibility. In the late summer. Coming up next. In the second segment of the podcast, We'll learn about productivity and the nine dimensions of wellness. Physical, emotional, environmental, spiritual, social, intellectual, mental, occupational, and financial wellness. So we can survive and thrive in this unpredictable world. As promised, we'll talk about Occupational Wellness in Segment 2 this week. We are happy to introduce another guest speaker from Singapore. She is the award-winning author, publisher and founder of Helang Books, an imprint of Archipelago Consultancy, Hidayah Amin. Welcome to the show, Hidayah. Welcome to the Ask Show About Wellness Podcast. First of all, Let's get to know a little more about who Hidayah Amin is. Hidayah is a Singapore-born, award-winning and multilingual author. She had her first short story published when she was just 11 years old. It was only when she lost her childhood home that she resumed writing and published the book Kedung Kuning, Memories of a Malay Childhood in 2010. Do you remember that in segment 2 of episode 24, our guest speaker, Brother Muhammad Ali Mahmoud, shared some tips to deal with rejections in life? Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember. Did you know that Hidayah was inspired to set up her long books, her own independent publishing house, after an established publishing house rejected her first book? Oh, wow! MashaAllah! How things have turned around for Hidayah. She has written eight non-fiction books and eight children's books since 2010. Tell us about who you are and what you love to do in your professional and personal life. Hi, I'm uh, Hidayah Amin from Singapore. I'm an author and I'm also the publisher of Halang Books. Halang Books is an independent publishing house in Singapore. If I could find time, what I love to do is gardening. I like plants, so I grow all these plants at home. I like to go for walk. I used to run and do yoga, but I'm still recovering from a muscle injury. I'm also the caregiver for my dad. He's 88 years old and he's uh, not well. A lot of my free time taken up caregiving. As we all know, caregiving is the most difficult and challenging job there is. It's uh, very emotionally draining as well. So because of all this, I think I have very little free time. I would like to think that when I sleep, the only time that I, I get to like completely rest. Did your work shift to an online work from home or remote learning during the COVID-19 health pandemic? COVID-19 threw us off our comfort zone. I've always been working from home, at least for the last few years. So it's the same for me. The difference is a lot of my meetings are now conducted online, either via Zoom, Google Meet, Hangout or even Skype. How did you cope with staying at home, practicing social distancing and no overseas travel? What are you doing to ensure that you and your family members are staying healthy and engaged during the health pandemic? Sometimes what we do is we go for walks. We each have our different outlets. Like I mentioned, I like to look at my plants. 
I have a little garden and see whether or not my avocado plant is growing well. Well, COVID-19 actually allows me more time to be reflective and appreciate my family more because we shouldn't take anything for granted and we should try to spend as much time with our loved ones. Yeah. Thank you, Hidaya. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Hidaya. In the next episode, Hidaya will offer career tips for teens to achieve occupational wellness. Stay tuned to the next episode with Hidaya Amin. We've now come to the end of the show today. If you have enjoyed our show, like us on Instagram, Facebook and Astrowello, A S K T R I O W E L L O. Send us your feedback to Shazana at astrowello.com. Visit our website at astrowello.com and subscribe to Astro About Wellness Podcast. Woohoo!